Transforming Bracket! What's going on everyone? So welcome to my latest video. This is obviously my review for the third season of Barry, which is the HBO TV show. And we waited three years for this third season. That's right, season two wrapped up and I believe it was May of 2019. And for those of you that don't know, Barry was a show that I first heard about through Neurowriter One. They did a video on the famous fight scene in Barry. Um, I believe it was season two, episode six. And I remember getting two minutes into that video and I said, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna watch the breakdown of this fight scene. I'm just gonna watch the show. And give it a shot and i did and i ended up quite liking it so of course when i heard that they were going to be making a third season i was even more excited but little did i know i was gonna have to wait three years for it but um barry is a show that i'm not going to spoil anything and if you're new to my channel i try not to really talk about specific details in regards to um, a season because i don't like talking about spoilers and i know just in general it's hard to talk about a show because you're talking about many different episodes and trying to condense it in like five to seven minute video i mean that's kind of hard to do so just going to be talking about like my thoughts overall on season three and um to sum it up, I mean, I quite liked season three. I thought season three was really good. Some episodes are better than others for sure, but this is just yet another example of Bill Hader doing an incredible job. He directs quite a bit of the episodes and phenomenal job. He does such a great job with the cinematography. There are many long takes, the camera work just constantly, you know, moving, tilting. It's just, it's really great stuff, honestly. Usage of color, it's all impeccable. Score, Really good stuff. Acting. I mean, Bill Hader, again, plays a lead performance. And he does such a great job as Barry. I, I really, really liked his performance in this third season. Um, other characters are also really intriguing. I mean, Henry Winkler, who would have thought that, you know, at his age, he would still be doing, you know, all this kind of acting and everything. But he does a great job in this season. And Stephen Root also is such a great supporting character. Um, there are a lot of twists and turns. And truthfully, I, I didn't expect this third season to end the way that it did. It does end on a cliffhanger. Um, no spoilers again. But the way it ends, I think, is really, really good. It definitely took me by surprise. Um, I thought it was going to end a certain other way. And it didn't. It instead, went a different direction. And that was something I really quite liked. Um, I'm very curious about season four about Barry. I'm just wondering what they're going to do with it at this point. It's like, okay, and now we have to wait possibly another year or two. So it's going to be tough. But um, I, I personally would definitely say that if you're watching this video and you haven't seen Barry before, definitely check it out. But just know that it starts off season one with a lot of comedy. No doubt about it. There's a lot of comedy. But each progressive season gets less and less inclined to focus on comedy. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Again, shows that are the best are usually the ones that evolve. And this is definitely a show that's evolved. It's evolved from something that's funny to something that's kind of tragic and something that's quite violent and at the same time sad. Um, and I like that. And I'm very, very happy that the show is getting another season because it just it makes me happy that we have a show like this. Um, so Barry, for me personally, I will be giving a But yeah, guys, Barry Season 3, um, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts on Season 3 down below. And as always, guys, with the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.